Hey guys, I am Nishant and welcome to Cybernetico. So in this video, we will talk about some of the interview questions that were asked from me in the recent interview. So these are the questions. Let's try to solve them one by one. The first one is to generate an array using for loop in JavaScript. So for example, let's say this, we have an array which is empty. In this array, we have to store some items using for loop. Let's say elements from 1 to 8. So we can create a for loop here for let i equals to 0. Then if i is less than or equal to 7, we will increment it till 7. We will get i from 0 to 7. So if we do this console dot log i let's see what we get let's run it we will get 1 to 7 sorry i mean 0 to 7 but we need 1 to 8 so we need to do this so array i we will store all the elements in this array using the index and the elements will be i plus 1 so we get 1 to 8 now if you run this or do this console dot log array let's see what we get let me clear this first clear and run this you will get the elements 1 to 8 in this array so this was the first question now the next question is this store the array elements and their squares squares in an object sq value pairs so let me create another for loop just comment out all of these Fine. Let's create another for loop. In this, we need don't need this array, so save it. Fine. So we need the squares of the object. Sorry, squares of this array elements. So we can say, uh -huh, let obj equals to first we'll add the key which will be index, and then the value. So i into i like this. Now console dot log this obj and see what we are getting so we will get only 1 to 7 not from 1 sorry we will get 0 to 7 not from 1 to 1 to 8 so in this case we can change it either here we can make it 1 to 8 in the for loop it will work like this or else we can change it here so we can increment the key as 1 and all the values like i into i and i into i i mean i plus 1 for example let's say the index is 0 then this will be 1 the value is like 0 into 0 so this will be 0 plus 1 1 and 0 plus 1 1 but we have to put them in a bracket else it will fail now if you save this and try let's see the output you will get the same thing fine but what if we do this? So let's say we had, an, we had an object outside. So let's say obj or just object. We have to store the elements inside this and console.log it outside. So in this case, what will we do? So we can say object, this object outside one. In this, we will store this object. Now let's console this outside. These are some questions which are very simple, but still I have to share it. Had to share it. Yes. So in this case, when we are consoling it outside, we are getting only last one, which is eight. Let me explain why. So let's say we got one, then we got two. So two is overriding one. Then we got three. So three is overriding two till the last element. So eight is overriding seven. And only then we will get 7 because we are not appending the object with the previous value. So we can store the previous value in object as well using this spread operator or rest operator. So now if you run it again, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Simple. So this was second question. Now the next question was to do the same thing using radius function now. So let's create 
this i mean let's create a reduced array variable in this we will perform our operation on array array so we get array dot reduce it will take two things two params accumulator which is let's say total values and current value then let's return an object and in this object we will have current as key then let's add the value which is current into current now let's console this log this in the console now try this we will get this 9 as 81 but the problem here is we are getting all the items i mean not all the items we are getting the latest item so in this case we need to add the previous items as well that we did in the previous case so we can simply add triple dots total like this then we can get all the items here in an object like 2 to 9 but we need 1 to 8 so we need to subtract 1 from here from all of these like this so minus 1 now let's try now we are getting this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes so we are getting 1 to 8 the alternate way to do this to get 1 to 8 is just make this as from one sorry just remove this leave that and remove this now let's try we will get the same thing so now the third question is done and the last question is this what is the difference between a map and an object so i have already a video on this i will leave the link in the cards so make sure to check that out it's a small video and that was all the questions that i was asked in the interview they asked me all these questions so i think you now know the entire process i mean not the process the entire interview now all you have to do is make sure to like the video and click the subscribe button so that's all for now and merry christmas